Hi submarine friends. For the past few weeks, I've been working on this pressure chamber on the, in the evenings and weekends. So you can see I've been machining this pressure chamber here. This goes right over top of the dome window. And I just machined this space. I hogged all this out so the dome, this doesn't touch the dome. I didn't cut it with a taper because uh, it doesn't matter. It's just a void. So then I machined this O-ring groove to seal. And now I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to face the other side for the cap and then put another O-ring groove on the other side. It's a big job. So I've got this all drilled so I can put 18 bolts through here. And these two pieces right here, these are just threaded rods. They're guides to slide it on. So that'll make it a lot easier. I drilled in a fitting in the pressure chamber here so I can fill it with water right through this fitting here. And so now I'm going to put it together and see if it works. This is built to test the dome. So I took a three inch thick steel ring, big disc that I had, and I machined it. I hogged out the center so that it fits over the dome with a small space in between that's filled with water. Then I machined this end cap and bolted it all together. The tough part was hand drilling the holes into the seat. They have to be perfectly straight and true. So I made a drilling guide for that. And then I had to thread it all. So it all worked out pretty good. So you can see right now, I don't know if you can see on the gauge, it's sitting at 1,000 feet right now. Um, I have a, a hydraulic cylinder you'll see in the hydraulic line there, and that's full of water. And the idea is I don't want oil to go into this chamber, so that acts as a buffer to separate the oil from the water. So to assemble this, it's a bit of a pain. So what I've discovered works really well is I pull a vacuum on the sphere, and that holds the window in place. I don't want to take the whole submarine apart and invert it just so that I can use gravity. So now I just use vacuum to hold the window in place, then I can put the O-ring in, then I can put the retaining ring on, and then these two pieces and bolt it all together. So it works pretty good. I'm uh, really happy with it and uh, now I'm quite comfortable knowing that the dome is going to be fine. Ciao!